Seung-un's abrupt departure from Ri-Eyes, just 48 hours after news of his return, has sparked widespread fan outrage and suspicion. Fans believe SM Entertainment never intended for Seung-un to rejoin the group, and that they caved to pressure from critics unhappy with his pre-debut lifestyle, which included having a girlfriend and smoking. As a result, international fans have launched a boycott against Ri-Eyes and SM Entertainment. This boycott has gained momentum globally, with K-pop stores in over 25 countries refusing to sell Ri-Eyes merchandise, including albums and photo cards. The controversy intensified with the release of Ri-Eyes' season's greetings which features only six members. Fans believe this proves SM Entertainment planned Sungin's exclusion all along, despite his role in the group's debut. The announcement, themed around a boarding school of wizardry received over 2.2 million views, but was met with widespread criticism. Many fans feel betrayed, claiming Ri-Eyes is seven and suspecting that sung -in might have been edited out of the photos, as some editing appeared rushed. This uncertainty leaves the group's future in question, with ongoing protests demanding sung -in's return. Rose has sparked excitement among fans with speculation of a collaboration with Bruno Mars, on October 16, Rose posted a photo on Instagram featuring herself with Bruno Mars, captioning the post, The night I taught Bruno how to play a Korean drinking game. Bruno Mars responded humorously, saying, So much fun. Remember when you tried to kiss me? That was weird. Other than that, sick pic Rose playfully replied, I'm gonna kill you, psych. Take that back or I'm not releasing the song, Bruno. This playful interaction between the two stars has ignited rumors about a potential collaboration, with Rose hinting at a new song. Fans have been eagerly anticipating Rose's upcoming album, and the idea of a collaboration with Bruno Mars has heightened their excitement. Comments from fans flooded social media, expressing hope for a collaboration with one fan saying, if this is a collab, I'm going to scream. Tonight, the Black Label officially announced that Rose will collaborate with Bruno Mars on Rose's upcoming single Apt. This single will be released tomorrow. This sudden announcement shocking public especially fans. Jenny made a powerful return to Met's M Countdown stage today, marking her first appearance on the show in six years since her solo debut. Jenny performed her latest single mantra showcasing an iconic intro with the line Pretty Girl Mantra that left fans in awe. Her stage presence was electrifying, but it was her striking outfit that grabbed everyone's attention. Jenny appeared in a red and white crop jacket with bold white stripes, paired with a stylish black mini skirt accented by red lacing details on the sides. Underneath, she wore a white collared shirt and a striped tie, giving her a chic, school-inspired look. Her accessories included layered necklaces that added a subtle touch of glam. Jenny's hair was sleek and straight, neatly clipped on the side, which complemented her look flawlessly. To complete her outfit, she wore knee-high white socks paired with eye-catching red and white high-heeled sandals, emphasizing her dynamic fashion sense. The highlight of the day was Jenny's first win for Mantra on M Countdown, further solidifying her dominance in the K-pop scene as fans cheered her on. On October 17, BTS's J-Hope was officially discharged from his mandatory military service, marking a special day for both him and armies worldwide. J-Hope enlisted in April 2023, becoming the second member of BTS to fulfill his duty after Jin. His service completion comes with much anticipation, as fans have been eagerly waiting for his return to civilian life. J-Hope shared his gratitude through a heartfelt message, thanking fans for their continuous support during his enlistment. Fans celebrated his discharge across social media platforms, with hashtags like Welcome Back Chope trending globally. His fellow BTS members also expressed excitement for his return, hinting at possible group activities in the future. During his time in the military, J-Hope maintained regular updates with fans through the official BTS social media accounts, ensuring that he remained connected with the army. With his discharge, fans are now eagerly awaiting what's next for the artist, both in terms of solo activities and BTS's future plans. J-Hope's discharge also signals another step toward BTS's eventual reunion, as more members continue to complete their mandatory service. Fans are looking forward to seeing all seven members back together soon. Exxon's Nova recently thrilled fans with exciting spoilers regarding their upcoming concerts in Russia. During a pop stage update, she revealed that the group would be performing a brand new song during their highly anticipated shows in Moscow and St. Petersburg. 
This revelation has created quite a buzz among their fan base, with many eager to see what surprises X in has in store. Nova shared that the new track will feature choreography created by none other than Isha, one of the group's talented members. She also revealed that both she and Aria wrote the rap sections of the song, adding a personal touch to the upcoming release. The text of this song has a very important meaning. Nova hinted, explaining that the lyrics would provide fans with answers to some long-standing questions about the group. She also emphasized that the song's message is deeply connected to their journey as a team. In general, the lyrics of this song could explain a lot of things to our fans and answer many questions in terms of how our team did. Nova's hints didn't stop there. She also teased fans by saying the mood of the new song would be very different from their previous hit, My Idol with a Mischievous Tone, she added, there are just a lot of things that have accumulated that we want to tell, and we will do that with a new song. But Nova wasn't the only one sharing exciting details. Aria also talked about the group's preparations for the Russian concerts. She expressed her desire to do a concert in Korea, hoping it would become possible during Exxon's next comeback. I want to take all the readies who can't come to the Russian concert so that we can have fun together. I wish I could do that Arya said passionately. We will definitely do that on our next comeback. We have many fans. I am ready to do whatever I can. In the meantime, Exxon launched a special challenge in collaboration with Newham. The challenge, which runs until October 30th, encourages fans to shoot a video for the track My Idol and showcase their love for the group. The challenge is open to creativity with fans encouraged to create dance videos or transformations inspired by the group's style. Participants can upload their entries with the hashtag Jean and indicate the city they want to attend for the concert, either Moscow or St. Petersburg. There are exciting prizes at stake for the challenge winners. 10 lucky fans will receive exclusive new merchandise, along with the opportunity to meet Exxon members, take photos, and get their branded albums signed. Additionally, six fans will win paired VIP invitations to the concert, while 20 fans will win paired invitations to the dance floor area. The winners of this exciting challenge will be announced on October 31st. With Nova's teasers about the new song and the concert challenge in full swing, Exxon's Russian concerts are shaping up to be unforgettable events for both the group and their loyal readies. K-pop group Black Swan has been nominated for the Popularity Award at the Asia Artist Awards, with pre-voting open until October 31st. The group must secure a spot within the top 30 to proceed to the final voting phase, starting on November 4th. As of now, Black Swan ranks 16th in the popularity vote. Winning this award would increase the likelihood of Black Swan being invited to the ceremony, potentially marking their debut appearance in Thailand. Black Swan also finished in the top five during the M stage pre-vote, advancing to the final voting stage beginning on October 21st. Fans can vote on my one pick to help the group secure a performance on Dingo Live, further expanding their exposure. Moreover, Black Swan has been nominated for the Worldwide Fans' Choice Female category at the MAMA Awards. The announcement has generated significant buzz, as the group is trending in countries like India and the UAE, reflecting their growing international presence and appeal, Adding to their accomplishments, Black Swan's latest track, Karma recently surpassed 5 million streams on Spotify. This achievement highlights their rising popularity and success as they continue to gain traction in the global music industry, 